Lydia and I'm Alma and welcome to our channel so me and Alma get a lot of questions about how we've grown our afros out we thought we'll just take the 10 easiest and best tips because we both don't have time for <laughs> you know the rituals and all that kind of stuff let's start with the first one use water use water just like drinking water and you must spray water to keep it nice and moist. Yeah, it's like a plant. So you need to, we keep, well, we share a water bottle that I always have to refill. <laughs> and in that water bottle, sometimes I like to put just a bit of aloe vera juice or just a bit of olive oil. But like, I can't stress how much water is so important. Like before I do any style, I put water as a base. And then like, even before I put a moisturizer, or anything water 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 drink some too number two use your fingers yeah use your fingers if you use a comb it's gonna yank your hair out so if you use your fingers you have the control especially when you've got like type 4 hair as we do um our see. hair okay 4c hair our hair gets knotted up very very easily like I really struggle from um, single stranded knots. I just like to take my fingers and take my time and slowly detangle them. Um, but if you use a comb, it's just gonna yank your ends out, which isn't great. So use your fingers. Yeah. Number three, cut ends often. If you cut your ends often, every few weeks. Yeah. Sorry. It's your tip. Every two weeks, I dust, as they call it, my ends. So just a quick, like, this much. Half of an inch. Yeah, just very little. Just to, like, give it a refresher. Every maybe six to eight weeks, I cut off, like, an inch. Um, I only do it when it's necessary. You don't have to. But when I notice my hair um, is getting a bit uneven or something or I've got a lot of split ends I just give it an inch off oh yes tip number four protective styles I had my hair in dreadlocks for two years and I would take it out every six months but then put it right back in but of course wash it of course after you take it out but these protective hairstyles helps you really stretch out your hair and Grow it. When I started off, I wore my hair in weaves for like two years straight, and she wore her hair in faux locks for like two years straight. And her faux locks were great because the way it was braided, your hair stayed detangled and stretched. Um, so your roots were like growing like mad. Protect your hair. So tip number five um, is pick three products. We like to go by the lock method, the L O C method. Can you do it the other way? Oh, ah. L O C method, which I think is liquid oil and uh, conditioner, coconut. It's like something thick. So start with the liquid, which we like water, um, and oil. Um, so something simple, olive oil, if you want to go into all the fancy stuff like Jojoba or Yehoba, um, rap seed oil, nah, we ain't got the money for that. Almond? So we just keep know. it simple, like almond, um, olive, yeah. uh, castor oil, you know, stuff that you can afford. You don't have to go overboard with these things. And then we just seal our hair in with uh shea butter is one of my favorites i think that's my go-to shea butter just not yeah. too much but yeah just keep it simple to three products you do not have to have 50 products that actually will do more damage to your hair and like we've noticed as well when we like do the lock method with just three products within a week when you touch your hair and wash it, you've got loads of like dirt coming off because product builds up so quickly. So imagine when you're putting in like 30 products in your hair. Like, oh, the product buildup is disgusting and it actually hinders your hair from growing. And it'll make it smell. Yeah, so keep it down to three products, especially for type 4 hair. Our hair is like really dense and poisy. <sighs> 
Number six, braid and wrap your hair with a scarf at night. When you braid your hair at night, it keeps it stretched. And then when you wrap it with a scarf, it'll protect you from uh, rubbing off your hair. Because when you move at night like this, it just rubs it all off. Shook me like a one. <laughs> That's how she sleeps. Especially if you sleep like her. I I'm sleep very sleeper. gracefully. Alma sleeps like this. Your room is a hotel, technically. And she shakes it's a lot room. in her sleep. And when you shake like that, oh, like me. you're just trying to hit me. Get off me. <laughs> now let's be professional. Do not use. Oh. Tip number seven. Do not use hair bubbles with metal on it. Fight the breakage. Uh, as you can see, there's none of that metal stuff um, which latches onto your hair and pulls you in. Stop today. Please stop. Tip number eight. Careful of certain jewelry you wear. <laughs> well, I am engaged. Yo, please. I actually had a necklace with metal thingies and it tangled my hair in the back and I didn't realize it. About this much of my hair that came off and even though it's little, uh, it broke my heart. Wear um, rings that don't, you know, get caught up in my hair. Like if I do like this, usually by now it would have caught on and pulled out a piece of hair. And try not to wear sequins too much or anything that rubs up on your neck. Yeah. Especially like the back um, area. Tip number nine, eat healthy. <laughs> she just had a packet of crisps before we started this video, so I'm not yeah, even gonna go it. into the galaxy chocolate bar that you have. <laughs> okay. Before. Anyway, guys, pay attention. Uh, forget the chicken and red meat and all that that coarse stuff running in your body. You don't want that. Are yeah. you trying to say that meat is gonna clog your pores? <laughs> yeah, probably. Have we more vegetables. Healthy that have a lot of water in them, drink more water, have nuts, all that kind of healthy stuff does contribute to your health and your immune, which will then contribute to your scalp and your hair growth. Follow my example. Follow me on Instagram. Sometimes I post nice healthy recipes. She's always eating out and- um, Please go on her Instagram and look. <laughs> Final tip, hustle. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. We mean, don't give up. Keep up the fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't talk like that. Don't. Some don't days you ain't gonna look forward to every night moisturizing your hair and yeah. braiding it. It does get tiring, but when you see the results, you ain't gonna stop by you. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, hustle. That should motivate you. And then just keep watching us. Watching us is a part of the hustle. Yeah. And believe you can grow it. Yeah, believe that you can do it. Me and Alma used to have relaxed hair. Then we had texturized hair. Me and Alma used to have hair this short, straight and stringy and thin and just blunt. And then we did the natural ting. And it feels good to be at this point now. Um, and we really love how we look and how we feel, who we are in our DNA. Because I think we both at one point hated our hair, which is ridiculous. It was a long time ago. Yes. So stay hustling. When you see that box of relaxer, do not touch it. Don't buy it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do, it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. We're gonna come for you. We're gonna come for you. Hold me back. Hold me back. Hold me back. Hold me back. What are you doing? Is that a relaxer? What's wrong with you? Is that a relaxer? <laughs> we will come and slap you if you collect that relaxer team. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that these tips help. Um, check us out on Instagram in that section below. If you have any specific questions, you can ask us and then we will try our best to answer them in a video. Stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. Stay blessed and humble. Do not buy that relaxer. Quiet. So how are we going to end? Bye.
Ew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Woo! Woo! Give me two times on that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ma, we do one more thing. Thank you. I was waiting for you at the 